Uh, Matt, we've beaten an informed Northampton team to go second in the table. How pleased with your performance today? Really pleased. Really pleased with a, probably a 25, 30 minute spell in that second half. Um, I thought first half it was a probably a messy game where both teams were, were cancelling each other out to a certain extent and, and they got ahead through a, a set piece and we got in the back, in, back in the game through a, a moment of good quality from Randell. And then second half I thought it was more like ourselves. We played much better football. We, we had more control of the ball in, in better areas of the pitch and started to look dangerous and, and scored two really good goals off the back of that. Both came from set pieces um, so a lot of credit goes to Dan Green and the rest of the coaches in terms of that. Um, but then again, they're a good team and they came back at us last 15, 15 minutes or so. Uh, scored a, good, uh, a poor goal from our point of view, but a good goal from their point of view to get them back in the game. Um, and then we, we, we held out relatively comfortable um, and still had a few opportunities ourselves. And that 30 minute spell at the start of the second half really knocked the ball around nicely and it must be pleasing as well that you've made it pay when you were on top as well. Yeah, definitely. But we, we, that's, my message to him at half time was there had to be a platform in order for us to do that. Whether it was the top end of the pitch in terms of Alex and Ryan holding the ball up or, or winning more, more first contacts or, or on a centre midfield as well. It was a, a collective issue. We just didn't quite have a, a, an ounce of control in that first period when it was messy to say we could get the ball on the floor and, and then hurt him. And then you can work your way up the pitch. We knew there'd be a little bit of space at certain times. And we we did work our way up the pitch and, and then the goals have come off the back of set pieces so you just mentioned in terms of an informed team um, they're a seriously good team with a lot of good players for this level um, so we, we are really pleased with that game. Um, Alex Fisher and Ryan Bowman started up front and, and really matched sort of like their physicality even if some decisions didn't quite go their way. Yeah, well, yeah. Both got booked, but I'll have to see him back. Um, I know their centre halves got booked as well, so it's a physical game. Um, if you're going to book a, a player for some of those challenges, then you're going to be handing out a lot of yellow cards. Um, so sorry, maybe he was consistent today, so that's one of those, but you know it's going to be a physical game no matter who you're playing against. Um, and we've got physicality in our team, that's, that's a big stepping stone in terms of ourselves. Maybe in different uh, in difference to last season where we got really bullied at times by some physical teams we've got a lot of strong teams coming up um, but we've got to be able to compete physically and that might give us a platform to then play in, in space when when you get control of the ball um, but you've still got to take those goals um, Aaron Martin putting his head in when it hurts for, for this, our second goal and then the, the, the delivery from Jack Sparks for our third goal and, and Fish heading it at the goal line um, it's so so important because then like you say when you're on top you have to get ahead something we might not have done enough this season and then the two goal margin is a strong margin um, Another player I just want to pick out Nigel Latingana certainly didn't get bullied in that midfield <laughs> The reason why I signed him was because he's he's six foot two, covers the ground, and you, you're not going to mess him around too much. Um, look, he's, he's hopefully going to become a, a bit of a fan's favourite here because he does a certain job for the team. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm selecting a team based on certain as attributes at the moment, uh, and Nigel's certainly got those. We've got to look after him in terms of three games in a week. Um, he's still coming back from such a long period out, so we'll assess how the, not just Nigel but the whole group is going towards Tuesday. Um, long old trip up to Hart Hartlepool, um, but one we're, we're, we're looking forward to and should have a bit of confidence on the back of today. Yeah, I mean, it's eight games unbeaten now in all competitions, so you're going to Tuesday with good confidence. Yeah, yeah and, and probably a couple of those games we, we should have turned those draws into to wins or held on at a certain times. So okay, it, the headline's got to be about today and that, that performance for 25, 30 minutes in the second half where you know we looked like a, a team which were willing to do the dirty side of it but still had the quality when, when we got the tidy ball. Um, and everyone contributed. Um, I can't remember too many saves Johnny's had to make today, um, but they still scored two goals. Um, so lots to work on in terms of certain aspects of our play because not many teams have done that against us this season. But uh, you know, you, you go on with three points against a strong Northampton team, you pleased.